I I have a bunch of toys. Um, we recently went to um, Kino Kuniya, the Japanese toys, um, I'm sorry, the Japanese bookstore that has a bunch of blind box toys. Um, I don't even know the name of all of these. Like this one's pretty exclusively in Chinese. Um, it's by ACT Toys, A-C-T Toys. And I think it says one tiny fox sesame. Um, and it's just a fox eating. This one was $17.95. And there is a bunch of different options for the fox eating. And then I have a little Mulang Halloween. This is version two. And look at how cute it is. I obviously want that pumpkin one. I'd be okay with the ghost one. I definitely don't want this weird like Neanderthal one, but we'll see. And then this is the Da Tong rice cooker and it has a bunch of different possibilities. There's the um, Taiwan colors and the Japan colors. And it also comes with all of the little things that go inside the steamer and possibly little buns, I'm not sure. And um, then there's this Shiba Inu um, home Shiba. And there's all these freaking adorable options of a Shiba Inu. And then my last item is this Ritz Cracker book, which I'm really thrilled about. And so we'll see um, what we end up with. Like, let's start with the Shiba Inu because that's the largest one. It looks like the tear strip is at the bottom and it tears terribly. So that did not work at all. Um, I am traveling and I always like to look at toys when I'm traveling. And this is a really, um, large one. Oh my goodness. It's so large. Okay. <laughs> the card is huge for this. All right. Um, Guraya Home Shiva. And this one is exactly the one, uh, me and husband wanted. It's, oh wow. I wonder what this is. Okay, so it came like this, and in the back there's a coin, and it looks like maybe it's just the, maybe it's a weight, but it's the, it's a coin with the logo of the Shiba Inu. Um, I think it is just the weight so that it doesn't shake, because it doesn't shake when you're trying to shake it. And it's a weight to make sure that you can't weight check the, um, the toy to try to figure out which one it is. Oh my goodness. So here he is in a tub of hot water. Ah, just relaxing. The water is very, very like not translucent. It's so lightly translucent on it. Adorable. And then it comes with a little stool, like a little stool next to it. And the little stool has a little beer, which is adorable. And the beer is very detailed. It's got like the thing in the back as well. So fun. And so that's that one, which we'll put over here. And the next one is this giant fox. And I like the one where it's eating steam buns. That's the one I hope. And so far we've been really lucky. The first one we opened is the one we want. I wish I brought a credit card with me so I could open this properly. Oh, this is also an excellent one. Okay. Um, AC Toys, giant bag. This is a huge slime bag. And there is <laughs> the base, which is a piece of wood. And then there's two little cups of or maybe they're bowls. Mm-hmm. Oh, bright orange and just eating a bunch of noodles. I think that says mian in Chinese. Look at how cute this beautiful fox is. His tail looks like it's on fire. It's like a, so, so bright and really light, not a heavy blind box at all. Look at this stinking thing. And where's the card? Here it is amazing so cute i'm in love this one is really stinking adorable okay so that's that one which yay 
And then I have my mulang, which I'm hoping for this pumpkin mulang right here. Um, that would be best case scenario because honestly, the the Halloween one, the Halloween aesthetic that I like is black and orange. I'm not really a fan of the green and black or the purple and green aesthetic. Um, hi, husband. I can't open. Do you have a credit card on you? I got it. Okay. Here we go. No card in this one. I can't tell by touching it which one we got. I'm still happy. It's a ghost one and he's holding a little jack-o'-lantern lantern, which is so cute. Little ghosty with little patches. Okay, I'm, I'm cool with this. This is so cute. Not this main one, but still very Halloween. Um, and then I have my rice cooker, which I hope to get either the red or the mint one because they are the Taiwan colors and the Taiwan colors are the colors that I'm going after because I hail from Taiwanese heritage. Um, I really should have brought like a knife or something to do this. Okay, here I am doing the thing. Okay, so <laughs> very, very, okay, so this is minty mint green. Oh, this is a dark, oh no, 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 this is a minty mint green. No, this is the Japan one. Okay, so it's a Japan green. And there are so many accessories. Um, all right, so first is the little booklet that says this is <laughs> how to do it and what to do with it. Little recipe book. A lot of cuteness going on here. Oh my god, so adorable. Okay, um, and then here is the little recipe book for the kinds of recipes and it shows you how to cut it and put it together and what you can do in the steamer, which is also really cute. And then here is the beautiful steamer itself. I'm gonna try to be really careful with this. Look, and it's even got the hook over here for you to hook the, the rice paddle. Oh, it is so beautiful. And um, at the bottom is this steamer tray. And I'm trying to do it in order. So here, and then the steamer tray goes at the bottom so that the water doesn't directly touch your cooking element. And then here is the little steamer uh, container that's aluminum. It looks exactly like it. It's got the ridges at the bottom. There's these, um, these little colored lines, the white lines that tell you where it's at. It's just so beautiful. The ridges match at the bottom. Okay, so that's that. And it goes in here like that. And then this has a lid. So beautiful. And the lid, oh my gosh, it has these beautiful ridges and it fits ooh, perfectly. And then the outer lid, a lot of parts. I think this was like $8, which is beautiful for what it is. Okay, so here is the outer lid. Oh, let me close the inner lid. It does fit. Okay, so the outer lid, which fits like that. So amazing. And here is the measuring cup. Oh my gosh. To measure the water. And then the rice paddle. Come on, rice paddle. Come to me. The rice paddle is so detailed. You won't be able to tell, but it does say um, on the rice paddle over here. 
and then if I'm doing this right, the rice paddle, uh, oh no, so, so this is for the lid actually, for when it's open. So if you open the lid, you can hang it on this little hook over here and it stays open. I love this so much. Okay, um, amazingness all around because this is gorgeous. So that's this one, which I will put all together here. I don't want to lose any of these teeny tiny parts because they're all so beautiful. This is trash. Um, and then my last item is this Ritz cracker bag. Uh, I don't even know the size of this bag. Honestly, I just loved it so much. Ritz crackers are the best. Everybody knows that they're the best. And the bag is supposed to have a little like um, zipper charm that is like a little Ritz cracker. So how could I resist that, right? That looks amazing. So this <laughs> is supposed to be a book. All right, I don't know how to, oh, it is a book. Okay, so here we are. It's got the Ritz cracker things in it. And then on back here, there's like all these little recipes on what you can do with Ritz crackers and all that funness. And then I open this somehow. It's got tape on it. I'm gonna find a way to open it. So, you know, without ruining this very pretty box that it comes in. Ooh, but definitely ruined it. Ooh. This tape is indicating that this has definitely been sitting here for a long time, which makes me sad. How did nobody want to buy this beautiful Ritz cracker bag? Okay. Okay. That's like a later problem. Let's just open it up, huh? Oh my God, this packaging. So now inside is another cardboard box. Okay. Yeah, all right, another cardboard box. And this one is another difficult to open cardboard box. Husband, do you have keys? I do not have keys. Oh no. <laughs> What show it is maybe it's friends but there's a show where somebody was like what's your favorite cracker and she's like I don't know Ritz um, I'm pretty sure it's friends like Ross is with a girl and runs out of things to ask so he asks about their favorite cracker and it always stuck with me because there's no other answer I guess somebody could have been like those club the green box that's like a club cracker but there's really no other uh, competition for crackers other than Ritz. So, and I've always liked them and I get sick very often. Oh my God, there's another box inside this box. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. All right, this is it. And it is a Ritz cracker charm at the end of this. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I open it up. <laughs> and, oh, oh, what did I do wrong? Okay, this. And the inside has a little Ritz cracker bag. And then there's stuff to do. There's a desiccant bag. I'm gonna put all my toys in here. And like little toy things and pockets. And, a little zipper area to put other things. Oh, this is going to be so useful. I'm really happy with this. Anyway, I was, you know, on this trip and now I get to say like I bought this in Seattle, which I did and I'm thrilled about. And uh, you know, these are uh, fun, exciting memories. I'm a person whose love language is gifts and physical things. I surround myself with physical things that make me happy and this will definitely be one of them. 
along with all these beautiful toys. I'm so happy that I'm having uh, this trip and this wonderful fun time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hmm.